Welcome to my Emacs tour for sightseeing. Because I've been in this situation that I was curious about Emacs, but I didn't have anything like a movie trailer anywhere. So I would go from Emacs tutorial to Emacs tutorial. And I think of making this video right now. So, Emacs has this find file command. Let's find this file. And it also has the Emacs shell, which is like a shell. Except I can do this and that, among other things. And I can search text because this is a plain text file. Let me go to cv, cv.tech, and now I'm in an actual file. The previous thing wasn't a file. And same things apply here. Let me cd into this directory by using find file. Copying this, your interface of Emacs will be a little different. I have a minimal configuration for the color scheme and for the way auto completion works down there. You would need to press the tab key for auto completion. Did I copy this? I think I copied it. And castle. And let's switch. Note that there are no tabs at the top. And everything's like a tab, even the splash screen in the beginning. I think this is true of VS Code as well, where the splash screen is a tab, and then you close the tab. Instead of tabs in Emacs, you have buffers, which means nothing in particular. But it's very easy to switch between them using plain text. I like using plain text for everything. Inshall. So CD and yoink. <laughs> And let's do that. I'm gonna make a directory because I want to explore a little more. I would like you to explore a little more. I have to get better at phrasing things, but basically, let's explore a little more what I can do with the directory thing because that's actually a file manager, full blown one. So I'm going to make a directory here. I'm not actually going to use the file manager as a file manager except one thing. Let me go find file right here and I'm going to revert the buffer as they call it for any buffer. Make it writable, say hello there and commit it. And note that this is an actual legitimate change which I can't see right here. All right. I don't know. I just love the fact that you can do that. It's nice if you want to change the name of multiple things. Like if you want to prepend something, append something. It's kind of a pain to do that through shell commands. At least it's pain for me. Especially if you want to truncate something and replace it with something else. So let's emulate a bit how you would go about a project. The way that Emacs recognizes project directories is by what directories have a .git directory in them. And I'm not sure the intricacies, I'm pretty sure it's more complicated than that. But let's just go into it. I'm going to find file and find the file that isn't there yet. Let me go to the beginning. Clean is kill. <laughs> it's actually kill. tmp slash a.python slash tmp in Linux is a directory that resets whenever you reboot. So it's attractive for me. And I'm going to write some Python code. And save it. And now I would like to compile the project. So let me go back to the e shell. Go to slash tmp here as well. And get in it. I love switching between buffers. Once I use Dmax in front of my colleagues and if they see you switch between buffers, they get the rest of the story. They can piece the puzzle together. Whenever something looks like text, you can switch to it. Forgot that the reason why I'm leaning forward is that the setup is so messed up. I just really wanted this thing to be in frame. 
and you're right below my desk like my desk is your roof if I put you up there you can see this thing I don't know I really wanted to go in frame once and if I sit backwards and this thing hits me and anyway switch to the buffer of a.py yes now should be considered a project directory project compile make k no not make k python a.py and look at that simple python a.py hello and if i have a mistake autocomplete first of all which is convenient and check that out it's all python and it said i know i know what errors are like and it works with c too isn't that crazy nice that <laughs> it's not at all i wonder how little it needs i think that's sufficient no it's not but oops <gasps> what happened nah maybe that yeah with that <laughs> i mean it's a simple thing for simple people oh no i forgot something come on previous times no man this is not the proper way to do it <laughs> that's the proper way to do it Anyway, let me do it here. Just for the sake of it. After all, why am I doing all of this? The buffer still exists. The buffer is in memory. But I better kill it. What does it say down there? Screen key disabled. When did that happen? I'm going to check the footage and I hope I don't have to re-record. Okay, kill the buffer. Gosh. Anyway, that's more or less what I would like to show you. Emacs is fun, it's all text. People can see it and guess what you can do. And I hope that I gave you enough tools to be able to improvise things and see it from there. You may need to pause the video a lot. And this is not intended to replace tutorials by any means. I just want to fill in the gaps of what I found was missing. Some, I don't know what else that you could do with these things, but yeah, I would fiddle, gain as many interesting experiences as possible get as many attractive memories as possible so that i want to dive deeper into it in the future if you enjoy this cool <laughs> bye i need to stop both now eight minutes i've done worse i've done worse what's going on looks good